Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. Um, this is our Byzantium Basilius campaign, and uh, it's been a good one so far. We do have a coalition. I'm a little concerned, because if Mamlux joins, they can easily attack me, and that may be a problem. But uh, I'm optimistic for now. I think we're good. So, we are now at war with a few people. Nobody I really care about. Naples is loyal, so... Uh, I don't know, at the very least, they'll defend their lands over there, so... We're just going to wait this one out. Um, yep, we can go ahead and core up the rest of that stuff. That's fine with me. So, um, yeah, in the last one, I basically explained what had happened. Oh my gosh, they have so many galleys. Where do you keep getting these galleys from, dude? I'm going to need to build a flagship. Let's go ahead and build a flagship auto crater, Constantinos. Now this one will be called the Justinian. Am I spelling that right? J-U-S-T-I-N-I-N. -I, I think that's correct. And um, we'll go ahead and make it a heavy. That's fine. Um, we're going to go with, uh, sure, trade power per shipping fleet, morale, and uh, movement speed is one that I really like. Let's go ahead and build the Justinian, and then let's build a couple of galleys as well. Don't know if this is going to be a good fight for us. They do have a superior admiral. Six shock is pretty good. Yeah, we're losing that one. Bummer. No, they lost more than we did, but still. Venice is just pumping out those galleys, man. Jeez. <laughs> okay. I mean, respect. Total respect. I can't be upset that I'm getting beat. At war or beat at sea with by uh by Venice. So the Protestant Reformation is here in Ravensburg, which cool fact is getting renamed in uh, the 1.3 Pax Europa update. So should be pretty cool. There you go. That's my boy. That's my boy Serbia sieging down that enemy fort. So I took this and then I gave it to him. Does he have a core? Oh, he does. Very nice. Well, that's pretty good to me. Um. One thing I could do is I could full annex him and then release him as a vassal. I don't know what kind of ideas they have. Manpower and fort defense. Eh. Nah, probably not. So are these guys almost repaired? Almost. Yeah, Yeah. let's just go ahead and see if we can get a good fight out here. If we can catch out his galleys alone, then we're fine. Yeah, if we can catch his galleys out separately. There we go. That was really good for us. Kind of evening out the tides, right? So this two stack, I don't know where they came from. Let's go ahead and get you guys out here, see if we can win that siege. Uh, Naples is apparently going for it. Naples is sieging down Ferrara, my man. Very good. Hopefully we win that 64%. We did. So... Now what? He's got 26k on Napoli. I reckon, if I wanted to, I could land these guys on Venice and siege him down before he gets that level 3 fort. Okay, just kidding. He got a wall breach. Whatever. I would rather not spend my points on getting an artificial wall breach, so I'll just go ahead and... Uh, Send my guys in and see if... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's not good. Um, I didn't even see them. Dang. Yeah, I totally didn't see his navy had popped out. Feels bad, man. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Let's just get on over there. Let's have you guys come over here and have you guys come over there. Nope, 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 nope. Over there, apparently. Mamlux has entered the coalition. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good at all. Let's go ahead and build up some men just to make sure that we don't get attacked. So this is an offensive war we're in, so we need to be careful here. If I lose too many men, they will jump on me. Hmm. Muscovy in the last show, the last, um little bit of playing definitely showed me that they are not trustworthy so I cannot depend on them if I am to get uh, get attacked hmm. 
So Ferrara, dang man. Kill his galleys. Let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up over here. See if we can make something happen. These guys are here to defend. Ooh. Okay. So for some reason I have really low. Oh, Napoli. Right, right, right. Um. Yeah, they're gonna die. There's nothing I can do about that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, and they're just gonna carpet siege him. Huh. So let's see here. What's their mil tech look like? Are they a bit ahead of me? No, we're even. So I just need to separate piece out Venice. Albania has high war enthusiasm, which is really funny. So we have 17 to 24. I just need him to pull his navy away. That would be preferred. Could call Bohemia in, but I really don't think it's necessary. Let's go ahead and keep converting this land over here. It's a little expensive. Yeah, I'd rather do two provinces for the price of one. Hmm. Yeah, this navy blockading me here is kind of a quite the cock block. We'll see. QQ has gone bankrupt again. Just waiting on sieges. He has low war and war enthusiasm. <clears throat> all these sieges of uh the thing is is as soon as Venice pieces out, he'll transfer all those occupations over to me. So it's it's really not a big deal at all. I just need to white piece Venice. Let's get on up to Trevisio. Oh yeah, he's got the 27 stack over there. But you guys like protected at least somewhat. Uh, let's get you guys over there and over there. We can probably piece out Venice just from standing on his forts. No, we cannot. Okay. He's got that 27k. So now that we've got our navy joined up, let's see here. 18th, and they they would leave and be out there on the 9th. So we want to wait until they will get out there on the 18th. go this is the big fight we've been waiting on looks like we're losing actually yep we lost damn it man so Venice will probably peace out now and there we go Ferrara for some reason is not willing to peace yet so gonna have to send some men over here Go ahead and have you guys run down to a bruzy. A bruzy. Let's go ahead and have you guys go blockade him. I think we'll get the, like the little sneaky sneaky stack wipe on them. Beautiful. Blockading them should be enough to uh no. Hmm. Okay, um, I think I'd rather just uh, have my guys switch on over there. So let's just speed five it until we can uh, peace out. Yes, free mill points is good stuff. Okay, very good. Let's come on over there. As soon as we blockade them, we'll be able to piece them out. Very good. We can actually get some monies from them. Beautiful. And now uh, all this is ours. 
Cool. We just need to take Durazo, and we'll have all those claims. I think this one counts. Let me see here. Um, recover Albania. Yep, okay. So I think they count towards me. Be an easy way to get a war with Venice, Venice again. I probably should, though if I'm gonna do it, I should be smart and build my navy up first, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get you guys all home. Get you guys suppressing rebels everywhere. That it's necessary. Let's go ahead and raise the autonomy here and there. Golden era should probably be started before the end of the age. Allow me to snowball a bit. It'll help with my naval dominance as well. So let's go ahead and get you guys protecting trade for a few months. Wait until December. Um, here we go. Get you guys suppressing rebels. Beautiful. So Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. Those Mallorcan separatists are going to end up needing to be put down, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our tech. We're just waiting on those galleys and we're going to declare war on the knights. And with that war, we're actually going to take Dorazo as well. We could probably take like Crete if we wanted to. We have options. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take tech anytime soon. Unless I were to like... Yeah, Mamluks are in the coalition, so there's nothing I can really do about it. They are allied still as well, right? Yeah, they are. It's quite unfortunate. So we have our 10k stack over here. Let's go ahead and send um, those guys over there and take our leader off that stack. QQ has gone bankrupt for like the 18th time. We have a... Combat with the 25, so that is 23, 22. I can't count. There we go. Let's get the Merc out and it gone. And then let's convert some lands, right? So let's just go with uh, Kestamanu. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just be smart about this and try to get all the, the high stuff put down. Disputed successions, France, huh? Guess somebody on his on his uh, throne would be great. So we have our galleys here. How does Venice look navally? They have 32 galleys, dude. That's actually insane. They're literally just pumping out galleys. Let's build some more galleys, I guess. Um, I mean, I suppose we can just declare the war and then just siege him down and try not to be reckless and... I guess I can just call Bohemia and Bohemia will take care of Venice for me. Bohemia's looking pretty good, right? He stole he stole some land from, uh, was it Saxony? Yeah, this is all Saxony's land in the very beginning and then this is, uh, Kess Hessen, I think is who owns that. Yep, let's do it. Conquest of Rhodes, we'll call Bohemia in. Should be fine. A couple of OPMs and people I don't care about. Luca, Florence, those are both OPMs. And then I think it was also, who? Go ahead and make sure we have everybody set up that we want as well. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and recruit an admiral. Make sure. Wait, why do your trade ships do that, dude? I'll never understand why they do that. Okay. So, we are going to need to get you guys all over here just so if the Venetians do want to be cheeky and march their men down, they're not going to be able to uh, get to me. So, it's Ravensburg, Venice, those guys. Yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine. 
Um, so I'm going to take 15. So let's go ahead and take all of you. And then, there we go. Have you guys march over there. And let's go with um, Pavlos. Yep, that's fine. Very good. We're losing some money because of our... Uh, let's go ahead and turn off some forts that aren't necessary. Save a couple of ducats if we can. Juice with AQ is over. Uh, lose legitimacy, I don't care. My air is weak, so I'm going to lose a bunch of it whenever my king, my emperor dies anyway, so it's fine. There we go. Let's go ahead and have you guys come on over there. You guys are going to uh, continue to protect trade, it's fine. Those are 28 galleys, that's nuts. It's actually nuts. Uh, Mamluk started a golden era, so I need to be aware of that. So I have a bunch of galleys on the way, though. So what is it they get? They just, they don't actually get, like, galley cost, naval force limit. Yeah, they don't actually have anything directly that gives them galley combat ability, right? I did take the, uh, naval doctrine for it. Yeah. Which isn't negligible. It's not nothing, that's for sure. Be able to take tech here before too long. There we go. Golden era for Portugal. Let's see where we're at on these clicks as well. Free money. Free general. Is he any good? He's okay. Well rounded. Let's get rid of that 50, 50 general that they gave us acting like they were doing us a favor. So, I am going to be smart and just let my navy sit tight until, um, until we get it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Until we get roads, I'm not going to do anything with my navy. Last thing I want to do is to just get caught out by this 28 stack and die. Die a horrible, watery death. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll actually be able to consecrate this Metropolitan. Turn that off. Go ahead and... Uh... Where else am I at? actually do these two that way we can put that edict on over here prosperity over here but we don't need that let's go with the local trade power right oh no I forgot to oh there we go didn't realize that I hadn't gotten it yet okay stack wipe Let's go ahead and grab these guys. See if we can go land on Rodos or on uh, Venezia. Oh, wait. Probably shouldn't be engaging. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Hello? What in the world just happened there? Okay. That's fine, I guess. I feel like that's not. <laughs> it's like he definitely just got away from a fight he shouldn't have. But anyways, that's his galley fleet completely gone. So that's super good for us. That is so good. Oh my gosh. The crazy thing is, is he still has a ton left. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of men up here. Um, Bohemia's kind of getting beat up on. Naples is, uh, if you wouldn't mind, good sirs. Go ahead and get you guys up there. Very good. We could totally boat bomb these guys right here. Let's 
Should be an easy boat bomb. There we go. These guys killed up here as well. Pretty good. These are all my cannons, or most of them at least. So let's come on over here. Drop off some cannons on here and see if we can get uh, get some extra war score on Venetia. I'll take that because we're gonna have a few months before we need to worry about any sort of coring or anything like that. So we'll be able to work up some stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Spend the points. That way I don't need to uh, be so sketched out. The sooner we get this fort over, the better. There you go. That's why I was sketched out. Venice walking his doom stack around. Good siege ticks. There we go. So, do we pay money for professionalism? I'd say the Romans were quite, you know, notoriously professional. They were the first real professional armies, right? So I think it only makes sense. So, this is the truce right here. This is what I want. So, Florence, let's, um, let's see here. Um, free admin points is always nice. Let's go ahead and have you guys get grabbed. And if I wanted to, the fact that he is still, um, The fact that he's uh, siege down Bohemia definitely gives him a lot of war enthusiasm. Let's get you guys over there. As long as they don't siege back these two provinces, we'll be fine. I do need to keep these for that fort on though. We're doing fine. I just won't be able to separate piece people. Okay, so we get those... These clicks. Free points. Burgers will be a little upset. I can give them a province, I suppose. Keep them uh, nice and loyal. Do we have anything over here? Give them Synop. So they'll only be disloyal for another two months, so that's great. Go ahead and uh, do these clicks for that. That click for you, and there we go. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Mantua has declared their declared war. Okay. So I'm at war with Ferrara. Oh wow. Yeah, you're in trouble. He's at war with like half the world. We're doing good. Siege of Luca over. Let's see if we can get this one over as well. 21% chance. Nope. Getting stuff converted like you do. Like a boss. There we go. If we could convert Ibiza. I, Ibiza. Ibiza? I'm never going to say it right. If we could convert that, then we'll be able to really start to make that progress. So they broke off the Siege of Dalmatia. The sooner Bohemia pieces out, the better. Honestly. Let's go ahead and have you guys repair for a tick. If we can. There we go. Go ahead and have you guys come over here. Might be able to uh, just blockade him into submission. Extra war score. Very good. Beautiful. That's the piece. I would like to take Creed as well, but they're not uh, co-belligerent, so not going to happen. But there we go. And as soon as that uh, devastation is gone, we're going to call it. So, very good. Let's go ahead and just have you guys march on down. Let's go ahead and increase autonomy where we need to. Apparently we can't in Nexos. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. And I don't need either of these forts, but until our, uh, you know, devastation is gone, I'm going to keep it going. We are going to go ahead and rival the Mamluks. Can't imagine war with them is too far off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, revoke this. We're ahead on admin, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Too many relations. Royal marriage with France. They actually got an heir as well. 
Hmm. That's all right. That's not a big deal. We'll be able to get tech here pretty soon as well. So that's really good. We're going to have it way before everybody around us. Super good. Okay. So we don't need that or that. Could use this one. These two will take care of those. Don't need that one anymore. There we go. Cool. We're a lot more, um, you know, centralized than we were before. Our first camp, first playthrough, we are, uh, you know, had a couple provinces here, a couple, we had all these over here, but then we got them all taken away and we expanded very quickly and then we shrunk up very quickly. So I'm glad that we can make this work. Recover Albania, permanent claim and a bunch of stuff. Yes. Ragusa. No, not going to happen. More claims on Venice. I have this claim on Wallachia. You'd make a good vassal. Defensive ideas, discipline, hostile core creation, diplo rap. I don't know. Hmm. I think if I'm gonna declare war on him, I probably want it to be. For I'd probably want more claims. That way, it wouldn't cost me so much AE and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and have these guys. Mamluk's making claims on me. Not something you like to see, but it does happen. Go ahead and have you guys suppress over there. There we go. Let's convert Ibiza. It's gonna probably have some unrest for issues. I just need to watch out for that Mallorcan... Uh, those Mallorcan rebels. Definitely going to annex or be here soon. That border gore is hideous. People are leaving the coalition. Very good. Hmm. I don't think I'm comfortable declaring this war, though. Mamluks, honestly, are just so strong. We're finally past them, but check this out. You're going to be blown away. 43,000 troops. Force limit of 54. We have more dev than them. How? I don't know. I assume they have a lot of grain. Yeah, just a lot of grain. I mean, I don't even think we have very much differences in grain, but who knows, man? Who really knows? Um... Oh, I actually didn't know that this was a thing. It has to have a certain amount of dev to get coal from it. And you need... Or you have to have innovativeness. Ah, okay. Do we have any innovativeness? Yeah, we're making some. So let's see here. Genoa, not gonna happen. Poland, could happen. Oh, we could totally do this. How's Poland looking? Not so good. Not so good. I think we could definitely stomp them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure that one out tomorrow in the next episode. I don't know if this is... I'm not sure if this is the 3 p.m. I, I never know. I just record these in batches of two or three, so sometimes it's hard for me to keep track. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks again for all the awesome support. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying round two of uh, Byzantium. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's links below if you want to check out the Discord or if you want to support what I do on my Patreon channel, Patreon page. It's all linked below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.